It's a wonderful place to, to be able to tap into. Um, I've personal experiences of attending courses back 20 years ago. And I remember being in a hotel room in Dublin, the Shelburne. And two people who were giving the, the course were immersed in stillness and immersed in the present moment awareness. And me just by listening there with another group of people, I was one of maybe 30 or 40 people. When I walked out of that hotel room and I walked down a street in Dublin called Grafton Street, it was the first time that I actually seen the street. And it's something that we can't describe, but I think most people will realize that a racing mind is very common. And a lot of people would love to have the resolve to be able to quieten a racing mind. And this is where patience and mastery and not setting a goal to achieve a racing mind, but the goal, as you say, is to bring your attention from the mind, maybe onto the breath or present moment awareness and to hold it there, to train the brain to be quieter. And a stillness does come into the mind and then we can tap into it when we do need it. And I will say, and I've said it a few times, if I was get the choice between a master's degree, which one has to work hard for, and the ability to quieten the mind, I would choose in the ability to quieten the mind, without a doubt. I think it's the best tool that we can bring into our life and being more creative and intuitive and life is softer and just things go easier. And also you attract things into your life as well. So I know people talk about the secret and yeah, seeing sometimes, you know, people are, I've seen people in deep in meditation and I'm looking at them and they have all the beads and the robes and this perfect posture and they do their meditation for 30 minutes and the rest of the day, they're a total nut job because they see that their meditation is something more for an image or something that this is what I'm doing. And because the Western thing is all about outwardly showing and the warrior of today in the Western world is all about the big mouth. Not all. I interviewed a guy yesterday, a professional boxer, Chris, Chris Billum and a total gentleman. And I think it's wonderful that warriors, had both that they had the fight but they had the quietness of the mind because it seems to be the two extremes of of you know absolute stillness and quietness and patience and calmness and focus and concentration but yet had the mastery to fight to an extreme level how does that marrying of that and do you think that the the modern warrior has lost lost its way lost his way lost her way do you think that some warriors and when i use warriors i'm talking about people in mma people in boxing mm -hmm. or people you know has western society taken over that everything has to be loud and the biggest mouth in the room is the one that gets the most attention and makes the most money and that's a self um you know fulfilling prophecy and maybe the guy who is more inwardly were you an introvert are you an introvert do you see yourself as an extrovert a little bit like that because it's the extrovert that gets all the claps it's the extrovert that gets to promotions it's the extrovert that's the risk taker but what about the introvert so in the ancient times it was everything about that so it was always about the reality the reality it's it's the inward, it's the inward life, it's the inner life, it's the inner mastery about, about everything. Even if you see now some martial art movies, the old ones, you can see a master is always calm, it's all, it never attacks, it always in a state of, in, in a state like the master is. And he could knew, he knew how to injure people or how to kill people, but he knew in the same time how to cure people. In the old films, you can see sometimes he's injured. He knew everything, so it was a it was a mastery of, about the life. It was an art of life. So the fighting, first of all, the budoka, there the term bu not bushido, budoka bu do is now today you can say martial arts, but the budoka it's um, the martial artist nowadays in Japan even even they lost it a lot. And the kanji meaning of budoka, bu, it means stopping the inner fight, 
or stopping the inner sword. So it's the inner fight, it's your emotions, it's your aggressiveness, it's your ego. So you have to stop it first. Then you are on Do. Do it's the way or like Tao. It's the same thing. And Do it means the way to the light or the way to freedom. It's the way of everyone who want to make, and want to be free or want to be enlightened, enlightened. And Ka, it means familiar. It's not, mean, not meaning um, that you are familiar with your family and daughters and children like that. It's familiar with everything, with the universe. You become one, like the term yoga. It means union. And Ka means becoming familiar. So Buddha Ka was stopping the inner fight, the inner emotions, the aggressiveness, everything what can hinder you, what can stop you. Then you are on the way to the path or the way to light. And then you become, you normally you become familiar with everything, with the people outside, with the animals, with the birds, with, with the trees, with the breath, with the air, with everything, with the universe. You become one of it because universally, uh, universally, we are a part of everything. We're in the same energy. And it was a very deep meaning and it's lost. And nowadays in a competition, it's 99.99%. .99%. It's showing about the ego. When they're winning, they're jumping off the cage. I am the best. When they lose, they cry in the corner. It's not the warrior. A warrior was never like that. A warrior was always with respect. Even in the moment, he will die. So when they won, it was always, you are like that, all the time, respect, and that's it. Because in the, if you see the bigger picture, like we are here in this world, we are nothing. We are here visitors on earth, and that's it. The earth is spinning with 107 or 108,000 kilometers per hour around the sun. It's incredible, and we are here like a visiting the earth, and you're making your ego big, and that's not the, that's not the way. Yes, yeah. And this art of life is lost because the sport is like just external, just showing off, showing off, and that's it.